Hey, welcome to uh, day one of credit two of your foundations in computing class. We're going to go over connecting to the internet. And you've got a, a reading in your uh, day one packet that uh, goes over how the basic ways to connect to the internet. And I'm just going to walk you through that in the screencast also. Um, when you connect to the internet, you're using an internet connection that's provided to you by an internet service provider, sometimes abbreviated as ISP, and that's somebody like AT&T, Verizon, SBC Global, uh, a company that uh, actually owns and maintains um, internet connectivity, and that, it's a, that's a complicated um, process. We don't need to get into the, the, the nitty gritty of how an internet connection actually works, but you uh, purchase an internet connection from an internet service provider. You usually do it monthly. Uh, and what they'll do is they'll send you a router modem, router and modem, uh, in the mail, or they'll send somebody out to your house to actually set it up for you. And, that, and uh, nowadays, that uh, modem is usually uh, a wireless modem, and you can also connect to it uh, with a wire if you want to. And the wire looks like this guy right here. It's a local area network cable, and it looks like an oversized phone, phone cable. And you would simply run one end of that into the back of the modem, and then one end of it into the back of your computer, and what uh, looks like the oversized phone jack in the back of your computer. And your computer will recognize that you have an internet connection, uh, and you should be able to connect to the internet directly. Uh, so that's fairly simple. Uh, connecting the internet wirelessly is the uh, same way you connect uh, using your phone. Uh, you go, you would go into the settings, and then from the settings, you would access the wireless network that you want to connect to. So uh, we're going to walk you through that real fast. So we're going to go to the charms bar here. We're going to go down to settings, and then we're going to go to our uh, our internet connection here. It says we're already connected to the internet because we are. Uh, and this is our local area network, so we got a little uh, cable right there to show that we're connected to, connected to the internet that way. But we've also got Wi-Fi options here. So I'm going to show you how we connect uh, to the Wi-Fi. You click on the option, and then you click on Connect. Now, it connected me automatically um, because I've already connected to this network before, and it, uh, it already knows my password. Uh, now, however, if I were to, let's say I'm going to forget this network real fast. We're going to pretend that we've never connected to this network before. You click on it, click connect, and then it asks you for the network security key. The network security key is usually, uh, it's either on, uh, a, usually most internet service providers these days just put a big yellow sticker on the side of your modem that tells you the network security key. If you can't find it there, it's on a barcode on the bottom of your modem or router. Uh, you can also change that. Uh, you can work that out with your internet service provider uh, and change your, your internet password. But we're just going to type in our internet password here. And it says, do you want to find PCs and devices and content on this network and automatically connect to devices like printers and TVs? Uh, you can if you're at your home. However, if you're in an office or on a shared network, don't do that because that means other people could have access to your computer as well. So I like to click no on that just to be on the safe side. And then you're connected. So again, you're just going to go to your settings tab. You're going to locate, you go down here to your internet connections, and then you're going to locate the Wi-Fi network you want to connect to. Click on it, enter the password if needed, and uh, you should be connected to the internet. If you're connecting using a cable, just plug it into the back of the computer, plug it into the back of the modem, and you should be ready to rock and roll. All right, guys, thanks for listening, and good luck with the class.